Hello there everyone, this is a follow-up to the uh, latest video I've done that was a how-to guide on making your own Yoshikake Kira from Tojolian. This is yet another spoiler character, this is uh, the stand of uh, Yoshikage Kira from Jojolian, Killer Queen. And obviously there are some different aspects of this one in comparison to that of the part 4 Killer Queen, but this is quite a simple modification to make uh, to any extra Killer Queen figures you may have. Killer Queen itself, uh, you can find this one cheap. Uh, especially out of box, maybe loose, missing accessories. Uh, obviously, all you're going to need is just one set of hands, uh, unless you really, really want all the available hands for the figure. Uh, the only ones that you may just want are probably the uh, cool little posing hands and fist hands. Obviously, this is not my only Killer Queen figure. Uh, this one had some horrible QC issues. As you can tell, I cannot move his waist because it... It, it, it just broke off like every single time you would handle the figure it would just come off uh, So I got some interesting photos from that obviously But if you are unlike me and could find a nice cheap and loose good quality Killer Queen figure Then you are in luck. The first thing you're gonna want to do is choose your color scheme Obviously painting is probably the last thing you're going to do once they do that then you're probably going to want to just take off this waist piece. That's easy enough. All you got to do is separate all the parts, which you should do if you are going to be painting the full figure. That way you don't get much balding spots. Whenever you move them around, you get more pink uh, all over the place. Of course, there are some spots where the paint rubbed the second I got it down, mainly because I had to glue some things. But if you can get a hair dryer, uh, hold up the pieces, put them on like a little peg or something, and have the hair dryer uh, just basically blow hot air onto the figure, then you'll be able to uh, take off all the parts and put them back together. As you can tell, one of the main differences from this figure is going to be the waist piece. There is no medallion that hangs right here, so it's a simple process to just pull that off. It's, a, it's its own piece, it's pegged in from behind this buckle over here, and this is obviously the white Killer Queen, so it still has the gold accents and the black, all you have to do is paint the belt brown. And at that point, you're going to paint all the little uh, open white areas and these little crevices uh, the same color you're going to paint the rest of the body, which is probably going to be a pink color. And lastly, his eyes are a solid pink color. You just gotta paint them a darker pink and one little line in there as well. And because this is a stand figure, there's not really much you can do for like an accessory and there you have it that is jojo lane killer queen i hope you guys like this very short review i already told you guys that this is going to be a really short one mainly because there's not really much to this one besides take it apart paint the individual pieces put back together uh modify the waist piece and go over the eyes that's basically it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want, feel free to subscribe, like the video, blah blah blah. I don't really care as long as you guys enjoyed the content. That's all that's showing me. I got some other customs I did as well, so if you guys want any uh, how-tos on those, I don't really know if I've ever really shown any of them, but these two are some of the ones I usually get asked about. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.